Welcome back to Everyday Erase. Today I will show you how to test your TPS with nothing more than a smartphone and a OBD2 diagnostic interface. I'm going to be using a BAFX products. I've had it for two years and it's been working great. So, main job of a TPS is to provide information to the ECU about the position of the butterfly. Here's a closer view. Here is the TPS, and here is the butterfly. So when you're cruising around, get there we go. So when you're cruising around, it provides a lot of restriction and not let a lot of air in. That information goes to the ECU, and ECU is sending a small amount of fuel to the cylinders. And then, some guy is trying to get ahead of you. So you go, wow! Now, the TPS sending information to the ECU that, hey, we gotta go. So the ECU sends information to the injectors to spray a lot more fuel, still proper amount. So your engine goes, wow! And you beat the guy to the stoplight. So, enough talking. Let's get back to the test. Next, plug the OBD2 diagnostic interface in the OBD2 port located right by the uh, hood release handle. Next, turn on the ignition switch in the on position, engine off. All right, next, open torque app. Make sure it's connected to your truck or car, SUV. Next, hit uh, real-time information. Go into uh, empty screen, press and hold on it. Hit add display. Choose a graph. Go all the way down to a T and choose throttle position. Choose a large, you can choose any size, but I usually use a large. Next, you have to watch this line. Uh, what you're going to have to do is uh, start pressing the accelerator pedal slowly and uh, watch this line go up from 20 uh, all the way to somewhere in the 90s so start pressing the accelerator pedal you'll see the line starts going up that means it's a good sensor you shouldn't see any flat spots you shouldn't see any spikes if you do that would mean that your sensor is bad. As you can see, it's going in pretty smoothly. And I'm at the wide open throttle. Now I'm going to release it. And the maximum value was 93%, which is perfectly fine. Now let me show you uh, what, a, uh, what a bad TPS would look like. You would start pressing the pedal and it's either spike up on you like this or it would go flat. It means your sensor has a dead spot and the sensor has to be replaced or it would drop down like this. So that would also mean a bad TPS. Now let me show you what it looks like on the outside of the car all right now let me show you what it looks like on the outside since you couldn't see my foot pressing the accelerator pedal uh, now accelerator cape uh, pedal connected to the throttle body by cable so there it is so what I'm gonna do is start pretending that I'm pressing on the accelerator pedal so you could see exactly what's 
going on and as you can see the value is going up as I'm pressing the accelerator all the way to 93 let me show you again So this sensor is good.